hikers, my name is Kat and I'm your Los Angeles hiking guide and in this video I'll be showing you exactly how to get to Falls Creek Falls in the Angeles National Forest. The hike is 4.5 miles round trip, it's over 800 feet in elevation gain and it takes about 2 hours and 30 minutes to complete. This hike is about 7 miles from the Trail Canyon Falls Trailhead and about a mile from the Big Tahunga Dam Overlook. The waterfall goes by the name of Falls Creek Falls, but on Google Maps, it's listed as Josephine Falls. The first part of the trail is going to descend 700 feet down into the canyon, and once you reach the canyon's floor, it'll be about a quarter of a mile of rock hopping and bushwhacking before reaching the waterfall. This is Big Tahunga Canyon Road, where you're going to drive up from. This is where you're gonna park. Myself and this other car were the only ones in the lot, so it's not a popular hike. And for this hike, you do need the $5 adventure pass, so be sure to stay until the end to find out where to get one, along with frequently asked questions and tips about this hike. You're gonna go past this white gate, and today I'll be hiking with two good friends of mine, and we are hiking this in mid-January after some rain in the past couple of weeks. This first part of the hike is going to descend down the dirt fire road. About 25 minutes into your hike, you'll come across these lookout points where you'll be able to see the 180 foot four tiered waterfall. And these four tiers are only visible from the lookout points. When you're at the creek bed, you only have a view of the front 80 foot section of the waterfall. So even if you don't make it all the way down, these views are still pretty nice. This is a view of the lower waterfall from the last lookout point. And in a little bit, we're going to be trekking through this creek bed. The trail's gonna go down to the canyon's floor, and once we get there, we'll make a left and hike towards the waterfall. Once you reach the creek, follow it for about a quarter of a mile towards the waterfall. There's going to be a lot of overgrown vegetation and there isn't much of a defined trail. You'll be following the trail for a little bit and then it quickly disappears and you're left wondering if you should have crossed the creek earlier. I always find it easier to walk on the creek and not use the stones. The base of the creek was sandy so it made it a little bit easier. Thank you. 
And while they're trying to figure out which way to the waterfall, let me tell you a little bit about this pointy shrub right here. This is the Shepro yucca, and it used to be known as the Hespero yucca whippleii, and it's found mostly in central and southern California, in case anyone was wondering. There's a waterfall right there, so you just keep an eye out to your right when you're following the creek. It did start to rain on us, so we had to rush back, but now we would be hiking up the canyon. On our way back home, we stopped by the Big Tahunga Dam Overlook. We also wanted to stop by one of the lookouts to get a good look of the bridge, but it was raining too much. But I would highly recommend these stops. And now for tips and frequently asked questions. With this hike, just like with any other hike, please make sure to pick up after yourself and leave the trail cleaner than how you found it. If you plan on making it all the way to the waterfall, make sure you wear protective clothing. I would recommend pants to lower your chances of being exposed to poisonous plants. And I have heard of there being ticks in the summer. Maybe even check yourself when you get to the car. Make sure you bring plenty of water. The first half is exposed. And I wouldn't recommend this hike for kids. The best time to hike this is after the rain when the waterfall is at its peak. And I wouldn't hike this alone. It is a secluded hike and the last part to the waterfall is a challenge. If I had to choose between Trail Canyon Falls and this one, I would choose Trail Canyon Falls just because I'm not a fan of ending a hike with the climb and the waterfall Trail Canyon Falls has a stronger flow and I do have a video on directions to that waterfall. For this hike, you do need the $5 Adventure Pass, and you can get more information on where to get one on the USDA website. And if there's anything I missed, be sure to write it in the comment section for others to read. And that is all I have for you today, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. But more importantly, if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Hiker on a Trail.